Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I want to talk about stress today. Some really exciting things. Um, speaking of stress, uh, it's been super nice this weekend, and my son had a baseball tournament all weekend. So I went ahead and fell asleep outside, and the entire, like my back and the back of my legs, I'm a lobster. <laughs> I'm a lobster. It's ridiculous. Or it's great. Either one. So that's fun right now for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Spot's here right now, too. Oh, hi, Spot. Oh my god, don't touch my leg. Oh, don't touch my leg. Ow. <laughs> Big dummy. Oh, Spotter. So, Spot, say hello because you're a big doofy, right? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, puppy. Oh, thank you. Okay. That's not what I want to talk about. So, when we talk about stress and some important things here, this is all in honor of my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution. I am starting another challenge group in June. So I am doing a flash sale for the June group. If you, hi friend, hi Mel. If you are interested in joining us for the June challenge group, where we're gonna target a ton of things about estrogen and we're gonna really, really target stress. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some of those things right now. If you have been battling stress, if you have stress in your life and wondering about nutrition for stress, how to get ahead of the stress game, this is gonna be the program for you. Um, but I'm gonna go through and talk about some specific things with stress how they impact people and how they're really holding you back from your results. Um, and then a few things to target and start doing right now that are just going to make a big difference. So when people are under stress, this is not just, oh no, I have this thing coming up and blah, blah, blah. This is like lots of stress, traumatic events. Um, somebody dies, you change jobs, uh, you're moving, you know, big life events. Um, a lot of times these stressful events can ha have happened a long time ago and then your body is actually holding on to the pattern of effect and it's not able to move through the full healing process because it's just physically holding on to all those stress factors and your adrenals, your adrenal glands here, and I'll talk about adrenals a little bit, are still pumping out a ton of cortisol, the stress hormone, that's negatively affecting your body. So a lot of times when I talk with women about some issues that they're having with their progress, their results, they're like, I'm eating really healthy, I'm working out, I'm trying to do all these things, and I just, I'm really not seeing these results, I'm struggling big time. And I'm like, okay, so how long has this been going on? It's been going on like this for three years or five years or whatever. I'm like, okay, what happened three years ago? Well, I got dumped by my boyfriend and then my uncle died or, you know, the <clears throat> like several life things will have happened within a short period of time and all of a sudden your body just goes, meep, pfft, crashes, crash and burn big time. So then your body has a hard time really coming back from that. Your body never gets out of that stress cycle. Whether or not you're like, oh, I feel okay, I don't know. But, you know, now that I look at it, yeah, I've had problems since then and I've not been able to get ahead of it or get back to what I was before that life event happened. That's the stress. And that's the stress manifesting itself again and again and again. All for you. All for you. Lucky you. Okay. So how do you deal with it? How do you back that trolley up and reset everything to get rid of all that stress and to stop your body from keeping on producing all that stress? So the effects of stress, there's fatigue. A lot of people, oh, fatigue, yeah. This is like, you know, I'm tired more than usual or I try and exert myself a little bit more and I really have a hard time doing it and I just can't. Weight gain. Mm -hmm. and then the inability to lose weight, and then you're going to have muscle loss coupled with that, meaning anytime you'll try a weight loss program or something, you may notice, well, the scale will change, but then, you know, I'm really losing my muscle, or I'm, I don't feel as fit, I don't feel as strong. That's the stress helping you lose that muscle mass. Mm, great. Your adrenals also uh, get shot. That's just kind of my general term for it, but your adrenal function really, really goes down. There's a multitude of other symptoms here too. There's a lot of other things that can happen. Sometimes people have, you know, weakening of their hair and skin and nails. A lot of times you'll notice like people just, like you can see it in their face, like their collagen gets affected and you're like, ooh, are you, are you okay? You, are you, did you sleep okay last night? Like you must not have slept good or what's, what's happening with you? Like you can just see it on their face, right? That's the collagen, that's the wear and tear of stress on the body. When somebody starts to move through stress and get to the other side, you can see that in their face too. All of a sudden their face like brightens and they just look totally different because their body's reacting to stress differently 
or should rather, rather I should say, it is not having that same stress reaction. And you see that very clearly in their face. So, important things to focus on here, protein. I'm not sure if you can see that, if there's a little glare on there, but that's protein. Protein is really, really important. You're gonna need an increase in protein up above and beyond what you would normally get and what you would normally get for your goals. You have to increase it above that. Why? Because your body does this really great thing um, where it likes to take the pro some of the protein that you're eating and it says, oh, this is great protein, but mm, we don't wanna use it as protein. We wanna convert it into sugar because the stress is causing our whole brain to work overtime, which makes you fatigued and mentally tired and brain fog and all those other things, right? But we're gonna, so we want more carb, we want more sugar, so we're gonna take this protein, convert it into sugar, and use that, which contributes also then to the muscle loss and weight gain because your body's storing, turning that protein into sugars and storing it. Great, great. So increasing your protein above and beyond that actually provides your body with enough protein to combat that muscle loss that you normally would have gotten or would have, or to even start gaining lean muscle back, right? Decreasing your sugars, and I'm talking about processed sugars. I'm not talking about healthy sugars, like fructose, fruit, sugars, things like that, complex carbohydrates, things from like oats, um, sweet potatoes, quinoa, all those good healthy sugars for your body. Um, these are like quick sugars, and this is going to be what your body is craving so much when you're under a lot of stress. It's going to say, oh my God, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Give me sugars, give me sugars, give me sugars of any kind. Quick carbs, quick carbs. I want chips. I want cookies. I like caramel and chocolate. And caramel and chocolate together. Mm, it's delicious. <laughs> but having that actually increases the problem in, in your stress area. So decreasing those quick sugars is going to be essential. How do you do that, though, when your body is craving it and it's saying, oh, I'm super stressed out, I really need something, because those sugars help your brain function better. You have to teach your brain to run off of different fuel and use different fuels in the body and regulate your blood sugars better by increasing your healthy fats. Healthy fats, one of my favorite things to add in is fat bombs. Love, love, love fat bombs. So good. Um, or just increasing the healthy fats that you're having. Avocado, have an extra avocado a day. Great. Easy way to increase your healthy fats. And then adaptogens. Adaptogens are some of my favorite, favorite things to add in because it really helps your body mitigate stress. Um, this really helps your body um, not have that negative stress reaction, stress response. It just takes everything whoo, down a big, big notch. So these are a few things when you're having a lot of these symptoms and, and others from stress. Starting with some of this is going to help a ton. It's going to help a ton. You're going to not have these negative reactions then. And you're going to be able to get ahead of this. Timing-wise, though, I'm going to be honest, this does not happen overnight. It takes time for your body to go through this process. Uh, peanut butter chocolate fat bombs. Yes, Mel. Peanut butter chocolate fat bombs. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I can't read that. The writing's too small right now. Um, but having, having your body kind of react differently to stress, it takes time. Why does it take time? Just because it does. Hormonal shifts and changes happen in a longer frame of time. And especially if you've been under stress for a long time, it's going to take time to back that up and reset everything. So the more things you can do that are around stress, the better. Eating healthy is one. Changing your nutrition to combat stress is another one. That's different than just eating healthy. Eating healthy is not specifically going to combat stress. By targeting some of these things, that specifically targets stress because you're fueling your body differently on top of what you normally would just eat healthy to target the stress response that naturally happens in the body. These are things that happen physiologically. When stress happens in your body, it sets us this chain reaction. So we know this. So, great idea, let's target that chain reaction and really work on reversing it as much as possible and as quickly as possible. But the other thing about that is that it just takes time. Um, so, knowing that appropriate time frame and being ready for that, and then moving forward from there, kind of targeting different things. Okay, I'm going to get my nutrition under control, I'm going to really start to feel better, get better. Okay, that way, then shifting your exercise around it too, saying I'm going to really start to target my fitness and really work on nutrition and fitness together, and then targeting your sleep differently. Before you know it, within you know a couple of months, you're going to be like, 
I feel like a totally different person and I even look and I am a totally different person because I've targeted this stress in a completely different way. So, yeah. So that's what I've got for you right now tonight. So if you guys have questions, please don't hesitate. If you've had stress or you felt like stress has been one of those hormones that's been holding you back, please let me know. And I can, you know, maybe besides this, there may be some other little tweaks that may be really, really helpful for you. You can either comment below here. You can message me privately if you're not comfortable commenting. I'm more than happy to answer questions that you guys have. So that's all I got for you tonight. Let me know if you guys are interested also in this flash sale I have for the next group that I'm doing. So, so exciting. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys tomorrow.